Hi everyone. Well, I'm gonna do a video today for one month post up for gastric sleeve surgery. I've got it done on October. And I'm gonna tell you guys my whole process and how it's going and I'm not gonna lie about it like other people have telling saying that they lost fifty pounds in two weeks or in one month they've lost like forty pounds and everything, you know. I mean they probably did, each body's different, but I'm here to explain to you guys that not bo all bodies are the same. Mine isn't, and I've only lost 23 pounds in one month. But I mean, it's still something, you know? As long as I keep losing weight, as long as I'm each day closer to where I want to be, to my weight, I'm okay with it. So, I want to tell you guys everything about my experience with it. So, the whole process first went like, um... Well, I did everything online. It was JL Prado. I did everything online. They approved me, and then um, they sent me, like, this liquid diet two weeks prior to surgery that I had to do. And then my highest weight was 321 pounds, 0. 0.9. And the day of surgery, I was 308 pounds. And um, when I got there, I mean, I had to go one day before a covered hotel, so I left on Friday. And um, they did like the cardio, they did like everything, they did all the testing, and then they told me how the procedure was gonna go on for Saturday, the next morning, and then I was booked at seven in the morning. So I went in, it was me and seven other girls, and we went, we got picked up at the hotel, and I was the last one. The surgery is from 30 to 40 minutes max, and um, well, I just remember like when I changed and everything, I left my luggage, like the room that they were gonna give me and everything and then I just remember speaking to my doctor for like two minutes and then um they took me in and they were like putting me all this stuff on like on my legs and everything and then I just like remember waking up to this really really bad pain like I mean it was like I was like literally I couldn't even speak because I believe they put a tube on your throat but I was like literally just like the words I could come out of my mouth was like I'm in pain give me pain medicine I'm in pain I'm in pain that's everything I remember saying okay so yeah I told them I was in pain and they did provide um medicine and then I fell back asleep and um I just kept waking up because the pain of it wasn't a the, the incisions pains it was just that the pain from like the gases like how bloated you are and then how like bad I felt that I couldn't like get rid of them or anything it was just like hurting me so much I remember like all most of the girls it was like five of them that like slept throughout like the whole night and I mean like the whole day and I couldn't I was like walking because they make you walk after surgery so I was like literally walking at two three four and five in the morning because I couldn't like resist like the gas that I had and they just told me that walking was gonna make it better okay so from there we got woken up at six in the morning so we could go get um some um x-rays to see if like we wouldn't have no leak or anything thank god all seven of us came out good we didn't have no leak but they give you this liquid when you're trying to take the x-ray that oh my fucking god i don't know if i was the only one but it would just stay here in my esophagus like it would not go down and literally she kept on telling me it was so bad i just kept trying to like throw up and I kept gagging and telling her I couldn't. I like it literally wouldn't go down. It was just they were here, and um, I mean they wouldn't. They couldn't make me like. It was just stuck. So they told me that that those extras were gonna be good, but if they I had to go back, I had to go back and get them done again. From the recovery house, I was told that my extras came out good. Thank God, I was not trying to go through that again. And I mean, I got there on Friday for for them to make everything, like my analysis and everything. And then on Saturday was my surgery. Sunday was recovery house. And on Monday, I was able to come home around like nine in the morning. But as soon as I got home and everything, I just, the pain for me was like a lot. It wasn't the incisions pain, as I say, but like the gas pain. And then like me not being able to like, to you're on a liquid um liquid diet eventually but me every little sip that i took it was like if oh my god you put so many gases in me like it was like just awful i remember 
just regretting getting the surgery for me really it was it's not about being able to eat food but i mean i didn't know i was on liquid and everything but the pain i went through it was like for like one week and a half straight of like the gases and i was taking like the x gas pills and you could only take those i believe it's two every 24 hours so like they didn't help at all like literally they didn't help at all like i'm saying for me i really know and i believe i wasn't mentally prepared through everything you have to go through with the surgery i mean it's so hard for me like to see my family like eat the mexican traditional food they make birria they make pozole they make tacos they make fucking gorditas they make all that shit and i'll just be like staring at them like oh no i can't even eat tostadas i'll just be staring at them like oh no let me just grill my chicken you know no pepper no salt no anything on it i mean i know it's for my own good but i mean still i feel like it's too much what i'm doing and for me not to be seeing results like that hopefully in four months everything changes but really like it is hard and like the pain is real like for me it was real something else i want to speak about is once your um your doctor gives you a diet post-up it's that not everything is going to be for you for example you need to take 80 grams of protein and in my case I bought the GNC, the powder, I bought the Premier Protein. It doesn't matter if I do it through, it doesn't matter how I do it, my body just doesn't accept it. And there's certain things like cheese, I could eat cheese now. I'm also not tolerant to cheese, milk, or any of that. And that's part of the diet that I could be making, but since my body doesn't accept this, such as a, like the protein and everything, so it's been really hard for me to be able to like eat or I can't even drink juices or anything. It just doesn't help me at all. Like the way I feel, I start feeling really bad. I start feeling like um, my heart rate goes up. And so I just stick to water. <laughs> I just stick to water and regular diet. I mean, you can't eat salads. You can't eat a lot of stuff. It's just like fish and chicken. And it has to be like with olive oil and stuff like that you, i can't eat like um like raw vegetables they have to be cooked or they have to be steamed so it's like a lot of stuff that you need to know it's pretty much that you have to inform yourself a lot before you get the surgery like it's not everything like if a lot of people say it's been good for them and everything but in my case it hasn't been that good i haven't been feeling well it's already been a month and something else I'm really concerned about, it's about that people be saying that once you hit three months after surgery, you start losing your hair. <laughs> I'm gonna be bald. <laughs> you gotta keep up too is your vitamins. Don't forget to take them. And the medicine the doctor gives you, I mean, they're really important. If they give them to you, follow up to like the last day because I didn't and I went through hell for it. And I mean, you just don't want to go through it. You guys need to be committed in every single little thing. Now I am because, I mean, I've been through hell for it. But, yeah, you guys just need to investigate more. You guys need to see, like, other people's sides. And I always think that if what, what if it was your case that it didn't go well for you, such as, like, I've heard stories wherever they get surgery and then they have a leak. So they have to go back to get surgery again to close that leak and i mean each body is different it all depends just you guys make a lot of research <laughs> i mean i don't regret it i'm happy for it but yeah i'm happy i did it so i'm gonna see how it goes each month and i'm gonna upload video each month and see the process of how much weight i lose and everything keep you guys updated and hopefully you guys like my video subscribe and follow me in my journey because I'm gonna make it. It's hard, but girl, I already did take the first step. Now, me toque poner pilas. So, thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you guys want to follow my journey. And bye.